um, this is Ganesh Kadipali. So today I'm going to explain um, the basic of uh, workflow, how it's work, and um, how the system uh, will configured. So for this, um, I have created a, um, a module um, called the sample workflow. So for the workflow understanding, the best example is a live management. So I have created the live management module here. Um, in the in, inside of the domain model, I created uh, the leave uh, request uh, for day, from day to day reason and uh, status. So here uh, status we have approved, reject, and um, pending approval. Okay, and uh, here in the pages, um, I created uh, the overview, um, and uh, we have create um, have the new button um, like to enter the details, so the leave request and submit. So inside the submit, we have the validation fields and um, so after that uh, i'm changing the um, uh, status to the pending approval and the closing page so after the pending approval uh, we are calling the workflow so for that how we implement it uh, i will explain this session so for workflow uh, system we need to download uh, the workflow commands uh, from the uh, marketplace okay. so from the marketplace we need to download workflow so here we have workflow commands we need to download this one okay it's asking for address in module so it was downloaded the close in this marketplace and uh, we'll go for the workflow module so here we have workflow commands so to configure this workflow commands first we can uh, Go for the module app, st app store like uh, we have settings security and navigation we need to configure first three levels so first i will go for the settings here in the workflow tabs uh, we need to use uh, like the user entity um, like here i'm using the accounts so I'll use the account entity and here i'm not creating any event handlers so i'm leaving for the basic and uh, here workflow state change and user task uh, state change we have pre-built uh, uh, microflows we need to configure here so here workflow state change and uh, workflow user task state so here I completed the settings and uh, next I'll go for the securities here I'm selecting the prototype and uh, user role I'm creating a one user role uh, called uh, manager and uh, we have already okay so for this I'm giving uh, the manager role and uh, for the core workflow commands i'm giving the user okay and uh, for the administration for the workflows i'm giving administration okay and uh, here i give for the mx admin to demo user i need to add uh, manager okay okay so the security part is completed and we have 51 errors so like it asking to update widgets zero the navigation here uh, go for uh, show page and tool sorry so we have marketplace flow commands Excuse me and the pages we have a task inbox uh, task okay so page close me pages and admin center so this is for the admin oh lad icon for so paper list okay 
okay so the navigation part is also completed so then we go for the lib management configuration for the workflow so in the send for approval uh, we need to create uh, the workflow system for this i uh, call um, a workflow activity call workflow select uh, create a new workflow here Uh, review leave request okay I'm selecting the entity okay so this is done and uh, it's not required return value here go to the mic oh, okay so first we need to have uh, like a start and end uh, activity so here we call the uh, user uh, task so in the user task we need to um, give a configuration for the what user need to do so for this um, for caption um, review a request and here due type um, I'm, I'm, I'm selecting the due days so providing four days so, so within the four days he can uh, um, uh, reject or approve uh, the leave Okay, so here I'm not doing any uh, create events and uh, targeted user so I'm providing the manager so this approval uh, need by the manager uh, here user roles and I'm selecting the manager okay so this is going to be done and so outcomes so we have two outcomes here one is uh, approve and another one is uh, reject Okay, so these two has been done and uh, we have the display information here. We need to create a page for that. Um, so new flow system and uh, here page review leave request. Okay. And, okay. And the task name is request for approve or reject this is done okay so for the approval we are calling a macro flow okay and uh, approve micro flow here i'm creating a new one approve request okay so click on OK and uh, change the request here. OK, um, changing the status to approved. OK, and the same uh, for the uh, reject. So I'm duplicating this one, renaming reject request. Here I'm changing the status to the reject. Okay. And I need to call this microflow here. Okay. Right. So um, now it's done. Um, uh, we can uh, now we can trigger and we can see the flow. So the application is run okay and uh, so here I'm logging as a user and I'm applying for the leave first to play uh, day oh, mistake okay the submit so it was pending for approval and I log in with the manager now uh, 
uh, I can see uh, a upon task here and um, it says a pending uh, approval um, and I'll go to the my open task and uh, here I'll uh, check for the approve and now I can go for the user it was approved now I can uh, for another one test for reject submit again I'll log to the manager I open task so here back my open task reject the user and we can see here it's rejected and if I go to the administration we have the workflow dashboard here we can see the complete workflow system the graphs and uh, task performance and uh, average handling time pre completed in progress and you over to here and uh, last seven days all workflows and the next is the workflow management um, leave request so many for the completed and the leave request so this information we can see in the um, admin center and audit trial we have here so i think um, as this video has understood how uh, the sample workflow system works okay yeah thank you